the satisfaction. Here we are, Pistol Run Live, Tapson and Tizzy and over towards Banana, Gade, Keto and Searson in alt mid. Attempted double need up there, didn't catch anyone, but it's worth a try. They still have two smokes and a flashbang and then a lot of glocks to follow it up. Okay, so the duelies for device are in a bait position. They're hoping that Big is going to attack rap side. Linus will be able to bait and distract, and hopefully the attention is there, and device can come swinging with the duelies. Yeah, jumping past Gay, checking it as he goes past, and he's not going to get that set up. Searson with two great kills, and bitch truck everyone in the bomb side. It's done. Nice, Searson. Do that. Still the duelies. Wow. That is a, that round is just over immediately. Yeah, Julie's strategy didn't didn't work the way they would have liked. That happens a lot. Yeah. Maybe, do you think we're obviously not playing in the new patch? Do you think the new patch will just see 10 pistols in a round? Well, I mean... Everyone with dualies. At least the, like, price reduction gives you, like, you know, some utility to get with those dualies. So there's, you know, another another reason to buy them outside of, you know, whether you think the pistols are good. So that'll be cool to see how that plays out. One HP on Hampus trying to save the weapon. It's uh, it's not going to happen. There's the dually kill, and Plopsky's just going to save the CZ over towards Tree. And a smoke, but one to nothing for Big. All Both of these maps feel like, I mean, certainly Dust 2, Mirage, shout out to them. Oh, production. Sorry. I know we're complaining, but they've been here for like 10 hours by the time we show up. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Deagles. We've got that CC still saved, and Searson is divine. He's actually been playing a great best of three so far. Yeah, he's been very good. And we'll see what, what kind of shape his off is going to be in here on Inferno leading the way with the MAC-10. He does eventually go down. There's the CZ chiming in. This could get sketchy. There's still a player alive in pit and it's Device. He's Molotov'd out, but he's already got one and tries to line up for one more shot. Not possible. And for the moment, NIP is locked into library, but what a timing. And they catch Keto. He gets caught in the box and plops. He's going to keep up the pressure. That is a heart attack moment for Keto and... Uh, Third round, though. Auto shotgun on device. Oh, okay. Daddy needs a new AWP. Yeah, that's how you finance it. Got a great deal financing. Yep. Buy one, get one on discount. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, somewhere. It's, it's fine. It needs a little bit more time in the oven. <laughs> To come with I think we all phrase. got the idea, even in its inaccuracy. We all understood. I appreciate that. He's playing uh, that off angle over by the uh, over by the balcony, exiting the a hallways. Campus, not even afraid. They know where he's there. Not falling back. Either will be able to take him down. Let's see what this auto shot he could do. He's not finding anyone up here, but they're going to be down behind him and. Oh, he's actually gonna... Re Rez is in trouble. Tizian's already up lane. Oh, good thing Device comes back. I thought Rez was surely gonna go down. He's still alive underneath the smoke. He finds the body, and that's the danger gone. That round would have felt like it was gonna get sketchy, but they've recovered it to a degree. Tabson's still a chance in the 1v2, and he's got the bomb in hand. Yeah, he could walk in the middle and run. Plopsky can still get there before. He's gonna walk back up into the A hallway. He's hoping one player is going to rotate off, right? One player is going to have to be respectful of the B bomb site of his potential run back through Banana, and that's just not happening. And I think with Rez's position and Tapson's HP and the noise surely when he drops down, this is going to be a near impossible clutch to win. Yeah, he's hoping that someone is just out in the open for the kill, but that's not happening. Tapson, now he has to make a run, and he was already... <laughs> I keep wanting to bring it up, but I just... I'm afraid if I explain it once again, people really think I've lost all the marbles, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tampus, a little bit of a scary moment there. Fight it. Yeah, he's just got the USP. This I mean, is an honorable duel. Yeah. Almost gentleman. He's, he's been playing just very bold Counter-Strike. I, I agree with what you're saying, but I'm just saying assistant, so give him... Give him the benefit of the doubt here. It's, you're just playing the game on nightmare mode, right? It's already hard enough opping T-side Inferno. Now you're doing it without armor. That's that's actually no mistake territory. Yeah, he should have been entering Banana, though. That would be... <laughs> charging. Yeah, what a coward. <laughs> Not rushing up first. Kind of a... What you don't fear can't hurt you. Mentality. Yeah. Like, just, I'm ready. All right, Hampus and Rez... There's no armor. setup. There's no flashbangs for Big to clear this. This is just gonna have to be contact. They're just gonna have to win the fight straight up. 
very awkward jumping down though. Hampus, I don't know if he even meant to fall off, but yeah, there's no one else here. Three on three for the retake. And how much time are they going to spend? Clear it all out pretty quickly. Molotovs are still left on two of the players on NIP, so if they can if they can locate where some of these big members are in the after plant, maybe they can use those grenades intelligently. Lena's checking and making sure that no one is up here. Klopsky over by the library. But they're being very ca well, cautious and still getting a bullet to the face. Device is down. And I don't know about this for NIP. It feels like now it's probably not worth it. No, not at all. In fact, Linus just even fell back from halls where he was going go to go to work with Device's utility and just picked up the AWP and made sure to bail out. So first gun round goes to Big. I'll tell you what, their, Big's trading in the series has been fantastic Yeah. from what we've seen. Just over and over, even if they don't have the utility, just going one for one at places. Yeah, and, and yesterday too, right? Maybe an IP just thinking, well, what's that going to compete? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you also had G2 playing Inferno yesterday and today, and their B-bomb site, you know, yesterday was certainly a struggle, so they had to have known it was going to be a game plan against them today. Yeah. Okay, nice. So boost over, did fail the first time. Not a lot of money of really anyone. Linus and Device, maybe. But they're going to give up that top banana fight on the NIP side. Not worth it. Device is playing Arch with the AWP. I kind of like that. They've got good utility at the B-bomb site as well, so they can feel pretty comfortable with just the uh, the two defenders there for the moment. A lot of space in mid, though, for Big. As they come up, they're going to find brackets are clear inside of the smoke that's just deployed, although Device and Rez are re-aggressing on rap side. This could be huge. Big at the moment is just stuck behind the smoke. They don't want to pop through it. Tizian's going to be lurking in halls. And again, only one flashbang for the big side to make this set piece work at A, but again, attacking into just two defenders. Device getting the kill. Oh, what a nice re-peek into CS, and he was looking for more triple kill. It might only have been two. One of them was Device. Turns out that's apparently enough. 30 seconds on the clock. The bomb has been picked up, but does it even matter right now? Hampers takes down Tizzy and Akito on his own. He's... Yeah, so slowing them down just a tiny bit. He's nade down the middle. Tech 9 on Gade. He's got armor as well. So he, he, he could he could do some damage if he really got up and running. But this should be one of those comfortable rounds for the Swedes where they can they can relax just a little bit, start to build that money. Which they did fine in the previous round as well. Jumping down. Tizian trying to get it done. Gade with a bomb, but he's not trying to plant it. He's looking for the kill and hit, and he's going to get it. But could not get back behind cover. So at the end, Keto will be on his own, and there will not be a bomb plant this round for him or anyone else. Device take it to this level. We saw NIP last time they played Inferno. They, they had rounds where they swapped Device out from Arch, but had him play top and honor on his own, and then four-man stack over at the A bomb site. And when he's hitting every single shot, then why wouldn't you nade on the Searson? He'd already been tagged up. Linus will also get the spray on one. Plopsky going into the corner, and they don't even check it. They don't even think about it. Big kill for him, and the bomb is on the ground, on Banana. Tough beginning to a round here, Big. Yeah, you've got to be very pleased with your game plan so far in these first eight rounds if you're, if you're NIP, especially your Banana Control. Now you have the bomb. You've got two more Mol... Excuse me, three Molotovs to throw whenever you want down at the base of Banana. And, I mean, again, for Big, just pointing it out, only one flashbang to use for the rest of the round. So if you want to retake Banana, you've got no smoke to throw deep to cover anyone's vision at car. You've got one flashbang to make someone turn initially. And I, I guess they're kind of relying on Tizzy and either finding some odd kill on this side of the map or trying to wrap all the way around, but... It doesn't look like he's too, too worried about trying to make the wrap happen. It's... I don't know if the flashbangs are just all on banana right now, but it's it's strange that they have so few of them because there are so many places you want to flash and, and pop and clear on Inferno. So maybe something to look out for. Plopsky, they know that he's in the corner now, but the Molotov on top makes it really that relevant. Some damage to the NIP economy. If you want to see something about that last round, at least they had that going for them, so... Maybe they can uh, continue to build on that. If they can get another two or three kills in this round, something to work with. Tizian walks into the shot. Pretty well done by Rez. Not panicked at all. It's all on device. Ooh, 
he's gonna back away. Molotov down to get him into some safety. They're gonna run right through it, though. He's got one. Sees that's out. Long draw time. He still recovers. Yeah, that's... <laughs> The first version of the CC would have had that kill instantly, but yep, now it takes a bit longer and he doesn't. <laughs> moment as NIP putting a lot of focus on Banana early on in these rounds. I'd be surprised if at some point during this half we don't see Big do a change of pace, much faster pace, getting up mid and attacking A with some quickness, with some pace behind it. Say that Banana is not even right for the picking. <laughs> <sighs> It's more stressful than coaching. <laughs> Tragically. <laughs> Out of the fire. This is the way I'm watching you build as if you have this one ace up your sleeve comment to make and it's that. <laughs> That's what, that is what I thought. <laughs> um, tenth round. And um, they've got very deep into the archway. If Plopsky dies, this round is going to explode for NIP. They almost did line up for me. He's going to get... Well, it's a force a of TK. Kill. Yeah. It all counts in the end. Linus and Device playing over here in Device deep in the bomb site with that AWP. They need some grenades to close the gap here. If they, yeah, if they just try and take the fight, he will That's absolutely the pick them apart. And that is the bomb down your right. That's a big issue. Suyasin is here with an AWP of his own, and he wants to take the fight. AWP versus AWP. But Linus, did he spot that? It looked like maybe he did. If he did, he must have called it out to devices. one. Well, not everyone from NIP is here. Searson taking the fight on his own. His teammates are no longer around. Here's the end of one versus three, and he almost 10,000 on device. Yeah. They have a pretty decent bank on the NIP side. And yeah, I, I guess if you're, if you're big, I wonder what the conversation is, because you, obviously, you won the pistol round, but you only have two rounds in the half. And the only round that's really worked for you is kind of like a no utility contact walk up mid where you just traded your way into the bomb site. I don't think those are things that you can really look at if you're big and say we can replicate it, especially considering ever since Device got this AWP in his hands, he's just been beasting. He's been shutting down all your ideas and, and you're not even getting through smokes. Yeah, the, not only did the bomb go down, but it fell forward into the into banana, so they couldn't even really pick it up and run away. This is a really big issue because it's not like they can just say for triple B plays at the start because I think NIP is kind of thinking that Big is eventually going to switch it up the way I kind of talked about where it's maybe going to be an increase of pace towards A because they're no longer doing that triple B start to get things si uh, yeah. situated over at car. Yeah, they've given up on that, you're right. Hampus is put it very aggressively and the device is relocated from middle or arch all the way to the with a hallways and he's going to be taken down keto but they'll wrap around try and get something done hammer's getting a kill on gate device is back for more and he's not going to miss the shot either goes for a repeat and just just his leg showing there for Sisson to take him down two on three though they bring an ip i feel like this is a, actually a, a more dangerous three take around so at this moment for nip than you'd expect just because of the way they have to you know big has control of rap side if you're rotating over through ct spawn you don't know where they could possibly be it's going to be a join up in ct or excuse me from mid there are three molotovs in play though from nip they can fire bomb this whole bomb site and csm will have nowhere to stand eventually it's going to be hampers 10 to 2 nip is just yeah this is dominant and even with the plant, Big is back to just pistols. They, they, they hardly even remember what it's like to win a round at this point. It's been so long. And NIP are fully in control of this game. They have so much money to work with. Oh, clever boost. That would be fun to find someone like that. That's a low percentage boost. A very, very much so. <laughs> well, the peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Spying on the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Three man setup at B. And this time they, they're not actively fighting for Banana NIP, which they've been doing for a while. They just, they've fallen back. How would they figure out? They, they put, they're, they're very tepid out here on banana because they've been shut down every single time they've shown up so they're sort of thinking oh we actually got it yeah I, that, I was thinking the same thing they're like oh we can actually take the hand. let's just do a b exec we haven't been able to do this yet <laughs> yeah who can blame them oh but wait 
Okay, so they show they take top banana, they give away the game, they smoke CT spawn, force out some utility, they smoke coffins as well. NIP not fooled by this. There's still utility in those B defenders, and it looks like we're gonna fall back into a Hulls pop. They need to look at the time, like a lot. 19 seconds on the clock. The bomb is gonna be exploding out of the AFs. Lena's showing up, good spray, and it takes a second kill. Rez is there to shut down Tizian, and with nine seconds on the clock, 11 to two. Plenty of flashbangs in this round for the, for the big side, at the very least. They need to get through the first stage, and that might be that might be a good start here. Rez goes down, Keto. You have to pick it up. Yeah, it was Pop Flash set up with Hampus. They wanted, he was hoping that they'd be going a little bit fast in mid. He could catch him in no man's land. Obviously, didn't happen. Good kill from Keto. But Hampus oh. again being bold, and the timing of this is so good. It's so perfect. Oh, he does just divert from his original course. Still gonna find the one kill. The spray is there and he continues taking down Keto. They're inside of the bomb site, but the bomb is in second mid. They finally get out of the A-apps, but then the bomb is not there. And Hampus, he's walked around. <laughs> he's so hard to find right now. Lena's gonna get the kill. This is such a mess. Oh, poor Big. This is one of those rounds where Hampus can do no wrong. He even, he even made the turn away from the opposition and was still rewarded with two players not ready for his position in alt mid. The and timing of his movement was incredible. And he's even going to get it. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's... It hasn't even been close. Molotov is on top of flashbangs, on top of HEs. Yeah, Banana is not a, not a place that you feel welcome at the moment. Hampus is back at it again. And... Yeah, he's ready if they try to go for him. A flank is in there as well. It's tabs to go down to Linus. They get onto the bomb site and get the bomb down. But I doubt they're going to be celebrating anytime soon. Hampus jumping up on the cart just as he turns. And now Gade on his own. And he's going to get shot down. It, <laughs> the comeback that would have to happen here for Big would, be, would have to be truly uh, stupendous. I, I'm looking forward to it. I would love to see that happen. I doubt it. I have, my, I have strong doubts. But I'm um, always ready to be surprised. Keto, that's a good start. Get that headshot. Looking for more. He's actually, he was pre-aiming that. Is that the right idea? Tabson to take down device. Oh, dear. Shut it down. Yeah, at least a cool philosophy on the pistol round, which is just take every fight and hit every shot. <laughs> Taking some of the decision-making, trying to get maybe a little bit of hype, a little bit of adrenaline going by having everyone be aggressive. Linus is going to jump into the pit. He finds one kill. 1v3. Oh, no, it's not that far away. I'm just saying, Okay. I might be a genius. Yeah, you might be, in some corner of the world. Under the right circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a genius strategy. Uh, nade goes a little bit too far. They get up halfway through Banana. Hampus has the right idea, but not the right weapon. He was baited by like the elbow peeking out. He was yeah. so ready for that fight at the timing and just a little pause, a little whatever it was, ruined his day. Tabson's gonna get a labored kill, but he's got Gabe there to back him up, although that's that's not much of backup, but they have Searson in the B bomb site for backup, and he's surely gonna deliver. Yeah, I don't think they even think of the fact that he might be here. I think they, they assumed that was the B defense out there. They don't look like they're checking it. No one's actually looking back here. And Searson, yeah, he's gonna f can find one or the other. A little bit of a spray tap there. He's gonna pick up a double. But um, those are, those are just for the personal joy of getting one deeks, really. Which is fine. I don't mind. I think everyone gets personal joy from, from delivering some one deeks. I think it just happens for some people less than others. Right, yeah. I don't uh, know. How's your deagle game? Uh, it's not that great. I, I won't lie. I just, I, do, I'm, I usually don't feel it that much. I try and buy it because it is very satisfying, but... I probably actually do more work with the B250, to be honest. Yeah, me too. I don't know why that is, but... In 20 years of Counter-Strike, my Deagle has always been bad. I don't know why. I mean, I... If we scroll time far enough back, the... The AWB Deagle combination... Ha oh, burst fire. Had... <laughs> yeah, Hampus. Is yeah! That, is that your ADD kicking in? Oh, look, burst fire. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited. Um... I mean, back in 1.6, obviously, had a completely different function, the Deagle and the AWP. Yeah. Because of the way that you could... They can solve the problem that, that Big could not on their T side, which is even getting control of Banana at all. That was really something that they, they just didn't do. 
And the results were pretty evident. And then IP not, not running into the fire, just saying, all right, use your nades, taps, and taking a bit of damage. And they're going to send Plopsky in first. He's made it quite far. A friendly flashbang right now could set it up. A missed shot. And Searson is down. That is not good for big at all. Plopsky. Ooh, double SMG kills across the map. Bomb is still very far away. So we have taken the B bomb site. It's gonna ha it's, they're going to have to wait a minute before Rez can catch up. He's going to be a bit cautious with any kind of a deep mid peak. They do have one more smoke on Hampus to put down post plant. And it's going to be a three on three retake. Plenty of nades, plenty of kits for the big side. It must be weird for, uh, for Big just how long it takes for the bomb to go down. They don't know it had to be carried all the way over there. But now it finally is. Smoke fading. Nice headshot for Hampers. And now they're going to be smoking a construction. That actually probably forces them to go the other way. I don't know why they would ever come through this smoke. Device is going to get caught out, but they're being funneled into a huge choke point here. That's actually very clever out of... And this is a kind of a must-win round for Big. And after this, the money's gone. So, I mean, we're already, we're already quickly there, which shouldn't be too surprising considering the first half that we had. But we're already kind of at a breaking point for Big Clan. Yeah, they are uh, in a little bit of trouble. Seriously, though, always good for a kill with that AWP throughout all of the maps here in, in this particular match. He's just been very, very strong with it. Couldn't stop Device in the first half, but... I don't know if that's necessary. <laughs> How is that not funny? Is that one tickled you? <laughs> oh, he's done it again. <laughs> yeah, just shoot at every smoke at this point. Yeah, just keep doing it. Why not? It's the fact that he's like, he's actually walking away and it's like, his AK has like one last little hiccup. It's like, oh, there's another bullet. Oh, yep. it's a headshot. Why not? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the round. Big are going to give it up because they need these weapons to fight in the next one. They'd be, they'd be putting everything into a utility, uh, utility-less three-on-four retake. So yeah. we're going to be playing for overtime at 10 rounds back. Yeah, roll, roll it out. Run it whole, all the way back. It's it obviously can be done. This, I don't is an, know how, but this is like an order the champagne moment for NIP. I don't, I, I don't think any amount of oranges is going to be saving big at this point in time. But, uh, but, but again, 10 rounds straight. That's a, a little bit of a tall task ahead of them. Hampers taking some damage already. Three men set up a top banana. Hampers is here to catch at least one of them. He wants more on top of the smoke <laughs> jumping. And that actually did connect with Tamsin. What's going on right now? NIP just hitting all the shots on the taps, and he can't get the gun out of time. There's a knife <laughs> in play in the middle of all of that. And Searson is on his own. One versus two now. He's already taken down Rez. A minute and 16 seconds. He's now the one with the knife charging down the middle and right into...